Sorry, let's carry on. We've got a lot to get through. We're still on seas. Oh, my Lord. It's time to start. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. More about them in just a little bit. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Brain Blaze. As always, I'm your host, Simon. Welcome, welcome. Kevin has written me a script, The Weirdest Laws in America. Yeehaw! Let's jump in. American accents. How do they speak in America? Let's jump in, partner. God, that was bad. I know my American accent is normally not very good, but that was particularly bad, wasn't it? Let's jump in, partner. Uh, yeehaw! <laughs> Previously on the channel, we've been talking about those insane American laws. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop. I'm trying to reposition my bloody little, my little pl pedal to control the teleprompter. I'm spitting all over my beard. What is going on today? Previously on this channel, Danny talked about some of the weirdest laws in both the UK and around the world, but he never did an episode on insane American laws after the unexpectedly poor showing of my King Jong Un video. What do you mean? That was poor. I don't even remember. I'm so lost. I've decided to take Hollywood's creatively bankrupt lead and just make an Americanized version of something a British writer has already had success with. <laughs> yeah, it's like The Office, except the American Office is better. Like, and I. I don't know, I'm British. I like British humor. I also like American humor. Um, but the American office is, it's, it's very good. Well, well, well. How the turntables. So, let me interrupt today's video to tell you that it's brought to you by our fantastic sponsor today, Skillshare. Look, whether you're thinking about making a career move, making a creative leap, or maybe you just want to step back and think about what you want from your life, well, Skillshare is definitely going to be there to help. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn about everything. Look, the stuff on there that is relevant to me, I'll tell you about stuff that I've learned in a second, but you know, like video production or whatever, to uh, stuff that is not relevant to me in any way which I've never looked into, like calligraphy. And there's also, you know, soft skills as well, productivity, for example, plenty of stuff. I love that. I love that productivity stuff. I'm always looking to get a little bit more done in the day. And right now, Skillshare's got a whole digital campaign dedicated to answering the question, what's next after the great resignation? So if you're feeling stuck, burned out, or just ready for a bit of a change, Skillshare has got your back. I know what you're thinking, Simon. It's like, oh, I can't go back to school. I can't. That's, that's going to be really expensive and all of that stuff. Well, Skillshare's not like that. It's all about finding new possibilities within the life you've already built. You don't need to quit your job or abandon your current career path. That'd be slightly reckless <laughs> to find fulfillment. You just need to subscribe to something better. That's right. I said subscribe. Skillshare's got hundreds of career-focused classes that you can access with just one membership. Whether you're a self-taught learner, a career changer, or a bit of a side hustler, Skillshare has got something for you. And trust me, and, and as I said, I, uh, the light at lighting was one I learned about, and audio. When I first uh, moved to the studio and set things up, I was like, where will I learn about this? Good news. Skillshare. Boom. Lights. Easy. So here's the deal. Skillshare is offering a one-month free trial to anyone who joins using the link below. That's right. The first thousand people to use the link in the description below will get one month of a free trial to try Skillshare today. So what are you waiting for? Join Skillshare. There's a link below. And now back to today's video. As a country that was founded by Puritans, America certainly has its share of bizarre and heavy handed laws. When I was growing up in the 1980s, it was illegal for any business except a pharmacy to be open on a Sunday. Yeah, I went to Georgia, a bit of Atlanta, Georgia, and you just go out. It's like, why is there this like part of the store where like the, the alcohol section, they'll like the fridges will be closed and you're like, or there'll be signs. And they'll be like, what's the matter? And it's like, oh, you can't buy alcohol on a Sunday. And it's like, what the f is this? What is this nonsense? I just want a beer. What the f Lands of the free, my f***ing bottom. These laws were eventually relaxed, but it wasn't until 2003 that the complete and total ban on Sunday alcohol sales was finally lifted because this is America and Sunday is for Jesus, not for getting drunk. Jesus loved wine. Jesus probably got drunk all the time. Jesus was probably an absolute lad. Of course, I was also an altar boy growing up, so if I really wanted alcohol on a Sunday that badly, there's a cabinet in the sacristy <laughs> where we kept the communion wafers along with bottles upon bottles of wine. But I'm getting off track and I don't have time for a long introduction. You're goddamn right you don't. America has 50 states. <laughs> okay, we're going to be here all day, are we? Each with its own bizarre law, so hold on to your butts as we go through every single one. Not really, because we're doing them all. Oh, God. <laughs> That was my joke, and then I assume Kevin made the same joke because I don't want to be here all day. How far are we through this? Oh god, it doesn't tell me. I can't see the. There's the little bar that tells me how long we're going through, and it's 
off the top of the thing. Well, we're fucked. Oh, and I did my best to fact check these since the majority of weird laws posted online are lies, but I apologize if anything fake slipped through by accident. Oh my god, are we actually going through every one? You can't be serious. There are like 50 states, Kevin. No, Kevin! I tell you so no! This isn't an epic place, Kevin! No, I didn't make plans for this in my day! I wanted to get some exercise in! Ah! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alabama. Have you ever tied your dog up to a fire hydrant on a street or post that you can pop into a convenience store quickly? No, Kevin, because I don't have a bloody dog. And also, I don't think fire hydrants are a thing. They're always, they're, they're underground. They're in, like, the pavement in Europe. I certainly haven't because I hate dogs even more than Simon does, but it's a common thing to do. So it's totally okay to chain your dog to a fire hydrant down a bala, but it's illegal to do so with your alligator. At this point, I should mention that for a law like this to exist, that means somebody had to have actually done it. Alaska. This cannot be real. Oh my God. It is real. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I didn't make plans for this. Ah! I mean, I love my job and I love making content and I want to sit here all day and make stupid videos for you. <laughs> have you ever lined up for the perfect group selfie only to look at the picture and realize that some idiot has their eyes closed and I have to take the picture again, right? No, no, no. Now you can fix. I'm sure there's an AI tool out there. I'll be like, open his eyes. And you're like, magic. Well, if that idiot with their eyes closed is a bear that you were posing with, you're going to have to let it go because it's illegal to wake up bears to take a picture of them. You can't be serious. What? How does that even become a law? Arizona. Most states require some sort of hunting license for shooting animals, but even with a license, hunting camels is illegal in Arizona. And no, there are no camels in the entire state. There was once, like, someone, didn't someone, there was some president who was like, let's get camels to do, like, lifting and stuff of around places and try to introduce camels to America. Pretty sure that's the thing. Arkansas, or also Arkansas. <laughs> According to Article 19, Section 1 of the Arkansas State Constitution, no person who denies the being of a god shall hold any office in the civil departments of this state, nor be competent to testify as a witness in any court. <laughs> well, I'm not welcome in Arkansas. Just by being officially on the books, Arizona's Constitution. Wait, Arizona or Ar Arkansas? Is this Arizona or Arkansas? It's Arkansas! <laughs> Kevin! Arkansas's constitution is ironically unconstitutional and thus can't be enforced since the federal government supersedes state law. You betray the law! California people shouldn't need the government to tell them them to mind their own f***ing business, but the San Joaquin Joaquim Valley didn't take that chance. They made it illegal for anyone to stop a child from playfully jumping over puddles of water or mud. Oh no, my kid's obsessed with Peppa Pig and loves jumping in muddy puddles. Only with their boots on. Colorado. There are some really wild claims on the internet about Colorado, like it being illegal to borrow your neighbor's vacuum cleaner. Sadly, after fact-checking that, it turns out that most of them aren't real. However, it is illegal to have furniture on your porch unless it was specifically manufactured for outdoor use. So if you want to sit in a rocking chair and read a book while enjoying some fresh air, make sure that the chair you buy wasn't intended for a living room. I'm sorry, slight tangent. Garden furniture has come a very long way. I now have garden furniture that has cushions and and they just feel like regular cushions. But you can leave them out in the rain, you can leave them out, they don't get all mildewy, they don't get horrible, they're somehow waterproof despite being comfortable. When I was a kid, it was like you had to take it in all the pillows, you had to put out all the pillows. If they got wet in the rain, they're gonna smell bad. These pillows just sit outside and they're like big comfortable sofa pillows. And you just sit outside and like, this is brilliant. I'm so glad technology has improved this. You think garden furniture, how can technology improve with garden furniture? But here we are in the future. Sorry, let's carry on. We've got a lot to get through. We're still on seas. Oh, my Lord. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. <laughs> Back in 1945, two pernicious pickle peddlers were selling pickles that were deemed not fit for human consumption, though I can't figure out exactly what that meant. To prevent future nefarious acts, it was decreed by law that all pickles, when dropped from a height of one foot, must bounce. That can't be real. I'm Pickle Rick! Delaware. In... Rehoboth? <laughs> A beach, Delaware, it's illegal for nightclubs to sell alcohol. If it is a business with a dance floor, there is no booze allowed anywhere near the premises. How do these businesses 
operate then considering the general business model for a club is to get people drunk enough to grind on strangers while pumping songs about getting drunk was that does that song is like 10 years old and it's just a dude being like shots 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 and it's like how the f- is this even music I'm curious how many nightclubs in Rehoboth Beach actually managed to keep open. Florida. Ah, Florida. Here we go. I never know what Florida man or woman will get up to next, but I can tell you what Florida woman won't be getting up to. It's illegal for an unmarried woman to skydive on a Sunday. It's weirdly specific. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Georgia. Though it was passed as a PR stunt because they consider themselves to be the poultry capital of the world, in Gainesville, Georgia, it's illegal to eat fried chicken with anything other than your fingers and presumably your mouth. <laughs> In 2009, a 91-year-old woman was arrested on her birthday for eating fried chicken with a fork, though the mayor dismissed the charges. That can't be real. That must have been like a prank or a joke or something. Even if it's illegal, no one's arresting an old woman for doing it. Hawaii. This law is only weird in that it's not the societal norm, but I'm honestly pretty jealous of it. In Hawaii, it's illegal to erect, maintain, or use a billboard to display any outdoor advertising device. Wait. So they have no billboards? That's amazing. They recently banned big billboards where I live in Prague. They used to have these big billboards, like you're dri- be driving on buildings. They are allowed them normally, but they said you can't use them to cover up buildings or something like that. And it's really nice that they banned it all because now we get to look at buildings, which look nice instead of like adverts for shit that we don't need. Hawaii is a beautiful place and apparently they like to keep it that way. What the f*** is this piece of shit? Idaho. This one may sound utterly insane, but in Pocatello, Idaho, it is not Ill- it is illegal not to smile. Seriously, it's even on the town's official government website. The ordinance was passed mostly as a joke in 1948, following a particularly bad snowstorm as a way to boost morale. It was rediscovered by a journalist in 1987, and the town has since embraced the law, naming themselves U.S. Smile Capital or death. Illinois. Back in the day, us bearded gentlemen used to be second-class citizens. There was a lot of anti-facial hair sentiment, and some countries even had beard taxes. For shame! In Eureka, Illinois, a law passed back in the 1800s has made it, has remained on the books for make, making it illegal for a man with a mustache to kiss a woman. <laughs> Don't move to Illinois. <laughs> from my universal moustache translator. Indiana. It's illegal in Indiana to use a firearm or electric current to catch fish. It's not really that strange, and there are probably a lot of similar laws around the country. However, I'm not sure what's going on in Indiana, but they felt the need to stipulate that you could not catch catch fish with your bare hands. Iowa. Safety is important, which is why it's illegal to go surfing while under the influence of alcohol and narcotics, or in a reckless or careless manner. (laughs) This is like those laws where it's like, not that I'd ever do this, but where, you know, it's like, riding your bike drunk is just a, is the same crime as drunk driving. And I'm like, yeah, I definitely, definitely take it just as seriously. I once was so drunk. I mean, not me, allegedly. Um, I was riding riding my bike back from a mate's house after we just like, we were students and we just got drunk in the afternoon for no reason. I was so drunk I couldn't keep on my bike. So I had to walk my bike miles home, just drunk, just walking my bike in the night, just like pushing my bike. (laughs) God, it was such a mission. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Can I hear it again? For Simon, not me. It was a mission for whoever did that and broke all those laws. For Simon and anyone else who hasn't figured out why yet, this is funny. Iowa is an extremely landlocked state. Oh, I didn't even know that. I don't know where Iowa is. Kansas. Kansas City, Kansas may just be the most patriotic city in America. It's illegal there to say the name George Washington without following it up with blessed be his name (laughs) under his eye. I wouldn't be too concerned about it as the penalty for violating this law is a fine of up to 50 cents, which I'd say gives it a pretty good indication as to how long ago the law was put into effect and then forgotten about. Kentucky. I'm apparently way too suburban to know that this was a thing, but around Easter, I guess it is a thing for people to dye baby chicks, ducks, and bunnies to sell people. People and give them as Easter presents. I had no idea this happened, neither did Kevin. And you had better not do it in Kentucky, where it is illegal to sell, exchange, or give away dyed baby chicks, ducklings, or other fowl or rabbits that are under two months old, unless the person is buying six of them or more at a time. Okay. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. Louisiana. I'm guessing this law came into being because New Orleans is, or at least was, pretty much synonymous with voodoo. Today I found out. Lawmakers must have been terrified of being cursed because it is illegal in Louisiana to ingest human or animal blood or human or animal waste. What are you up to in Louisiana? What is that? I'm just eating a piece of shit. 
I don't know how they speak in Louisiana, but I think it's in the South. It is shit, Austin. Luckily for all you perverts, this law only applies to rituals and ceremonies, so golden showers are still on the menu in Louisiana. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! I thought a golden shower's just like pissing on someone while like doing various sexual acts. It's drinking it? That is gr- I mean, it's- I'm- look. No, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm not into being pissed on or pissing on people. That's just not my jam. And I'm definitely not into drinking someone's piss. <laughs> And the only thing I can do is to drink my own pee. <laughs> nice and sweet, anyway. <laughs> Maine. If you'd like to grab a morning coffee in South Berwick, you either have to use the drive through or be prepared to walk a little bit. It's illegal to park in front or within 20 feet of Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Maryland. The entire city of Rockville can suck my massive f***ing dick if those piece of shit assholes think I've got- Oh, Kevin, my video is so demonetized. If they think I'm going to obey their law that nobody can profanely curse or swear or use obscene language on their roads or sidewalks. Um, you know, YouTube also has a similar law. That's just going to be like, beep 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 And it's gone. This goes for both pedestrians and drivers, and it makes Rockville sound like a bunch of humorless dicks. Can, like, individual towns pass their own laws? Aren't they just ordinances? Which people don't have to take that seriously? Isn't that... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, know, know how it works in the UK, but I don't think like a little village could be like, and I hereby... I don't know why they're American. And I hereby decree that it is illegal to walk across the path in the park. I don't think they could do that. They don't have the power. Courts and government make laws. Massachusetts. As a firm believer in science, Kevin is from Massachusetts, uh, who doesn't go in for all that mysticism bullshit, I'm glad to know that my state big brain has taken a hard line against charlatans it's illegal for anyone in massachusetts to tell someone's fortune in exchange for money without first receiving a license to do so sadly the only requirement for such a license is one year of res residency not proof of otherworldly abilities how about this massachusetts how about you don't endorse bullshit that would be nice kevin have a word with someone have a i'm sure you're connected with the massachusetts state governor Get this done, Kevin. Come on now. Kevin, I appreciate what you're trying to do. Thank. Michigan. I generally believe that you can't legislate morality and secular countries rarely try to, but Michigan is one of 17... I thought Michigan was a town. <laughs> I thought it'd be like Michi Michigan, Chicago or something. Michigan is a state. Now I know. Wait, Detroit, Michigan. But also Michigan, Chicago. Both of these sound correct to me, even though I know only the former is. But Michigan is one of 17 states in America where adultery is still considered a felony offense. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Felonies are all of the states. I know this. The FBI does that. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. They're like the big boy police for all of the states. So how can one state have a felony? It would be all the states, no? Minnesota. We're actually not going to be here all day. We're probably only going to be here for 35 minutes, 40 minutes, which is nice. Can still get a little workout in. Love that. In Minnesota's statutes for the prevention of animal cruelty, it's clearly written that it is illegal to hold a contest, game, or other activity in which the purpose is to catch a pig, greased, oiled, or otherwise. <laughs> so, otherwise, just at all. It is also illegal to throw a chicken or turkey in the air with the goal of catching it. So you just throw that chicken in the air as long as it's going to drop and hurt itself? Strangely, the door does not restrict the throwing of pigs in the air. Mississippi. Nobody's perfect, and sometimes mistakes happen. That's why Mississippi isn't going to judge you too harshly for having a child out of wedlock. Just don't let it happen again, because if you have a second illegitimate child, you can be punished by a fine of $500 and 90 days in jail. Luckily, twins and triplets only count as single illegitimate birth. You're the father. I'm the father. Yes! Right to jail. Right away. Missouri. Dancing is forbidden. In a case that made it all the way to the Supreme Court, Purdy, Missouri actually made it illegal to dance on the school property. The Supreme Court upheld the law. <laughs> Montana. There's a lot of evidence that rats make great pets, especially as a first pet for children. Just don't try to test this theory in Montana, where it's illegal to keep rats as pets, give them as presents, or sell them for any purpose other than food. <laughs> oh, for reptiles and birds of prey. It's like, what's that? That's, uh, yeah, you want some rats? <laughs> Roasted rats? There's a small exception carved out for scientific research. Nebraska. If you're a fan of a boil maker or an Irish car bomb, you'd best avoid bars in Nebraska. What is this? In a lot, they must, they, they must be cocktails or something. I feel like I've heard of an Irish car bomb, which sounds like a little bit 
no, not appropriate, to be honest. In a law that was in installed immediately following prohibition, it's illegal to sell any drink that combines beer with other alcohols. Yeah, honestly, it's disgusting. Stop doing that anyway. Uh, you can mix other alcohols, just not beer. The law has come up for debate several times, but it has yet to be overturned. <laughs> Nevada. Apparently, there's this thing called a panty tree. People will pick a tree under a chairlift at a ski resort and toss bras, panties, and Mardi Gras beads all over it. I don't really know how this became a thing. But it isn't one in Nevada where t tossing such items from a chairlift is illegal. Isn't Nevada where Las Vegas is? They've got skiing there? <laughs> I went to Las Vegas. It was like 50 fing degrees, which I don't know how much in Fahrenheit, but it's fing hot. I guess they could have mountains or some shit like that. The Sierra Nevada mountains are not in Nevada, are they? That feels like something that would be like in South America or something. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> so stupid. New Hampshire. <laughs> also, I know. I mean, I've heard of this, but somewhere, I, like, I'm not. I don't think it's like a city. Like I thought Michigan was a city, but I. It, it feels like New Hampshire could be an island and not a state. And I'll just be like, okay. <laughs> no milk and no milk product containers shall be used as a receptacle for any substance other than dairy products. I'm pretty sure this is only intended to refer to items on the shelf in a grocery store. But even then, it's a bit weird. Were people dumping out gallons of milk, replacing it with Kool-Aid, and then hoping nobody would notice? Oh, yeah. New Jersey. I personally ran afoul of this law the first time I was in New Jersey because I had no idea, but it's illegal to pump your own gas. Okay. Considering I had completely filled my tank before the gas station attendant even noticed I was there, I can only imagine how much of their lives residents waste sitting at a pump waiting for help. Did I tell my petrol station story? Like, in the UK. Where I grew up, where I learned to drive and everything like that, you go to a petrol station and you fill the thing and then you squeeze it. And you squeeze it and you squeeze it until the car is full. Elsewhere, you put it in, you squeeze it, and there's this little latch thing. <laughs> and you flick this little latch thing, you take your hand off, and it fills your car with petrol and then it reaches the top and it's like and this thing releases and your car is full and you put it back on the shelf and i'm like that's amazing but in the uk it's not a thing and i remember my dad was saying he wasn't born in the uk he moved to the uk and he was like he was there and for a very long time he was filling his car up with petrol and he was like all of them are broken every petrol station i go to the bloody thing is broken i'm standing there like an idiot holding it every single one and then someone was eventually like there that the, we don't have those <laughs> Fascinating tangent, Simon. Let's carry on. New Mexico. The state constitution was finally amended in 2016, but until then, it was illegal for idiots to vote. Yes, idiots was the exact word used in the constitution. However, it is still illegal to misuse the national anthem or New Mexico state anthem, which includes making it illegal to sing either as part of a patriotic medley. Okay. New York. It's illegal to throw balls at someone's head for fun, even if they agree to it. It's a little more complicated than that, and it dates back to old-timey carnivals where people would put on shows where they were publicly abused for the entertainment of others. But that specific example of throwing balls at their heads is listed in the law north carolina even though this is something that i and most other children have done numerous times in our lives in kill devil hills oh my lord that's the name of a place america north carolina it's illegal to ride your bicycle without both hands on the handlebars yeah but one's if you gotta you know do something with the, what's wrong with this or this I realize it's a safety issue, but the fact that the law specifies hands rather than at least one hand feels a little bit overbearing. How am I supposed to flip off traffic? North Dakota. According to Fargo, North Dakota, all pigeons within the city borders are considered a public nuisance and absolutely must be exterminated. As draconian as that may sound, at least you need to apply for a permit before you go around killing pigeons. Ohio. 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 Ohio? Ohio. No, that sounds too British. Ohio. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio takes their laws very seriously, and if you commit a crime, you will be arrested and face justice. Unused, unless it's Sunday of the 4th of, or the 4th of July, in which case it's unlawful for authorities to arrest you for a misdemeanor. Just don't go too crazy. You can still be arrested for felonies, treason, or if you're on a river, okay? Oklahoma. It is unlawful to engage in a bear wrestling exhibition. This only applies to events to which admission is being sold, so you are apparently still allowed to wrestle bears as a matter of personal pride, so long as nobody else is watching. Any 
needs to be a fair fight, though, as drugging the bear for the purpose of wrestling is also illegal. <laughs> Oregon. Last time I got stuck in traffic while driving through New York, which lasted for hours, the highway was absolutely covered, covered with bottles of urine. What? Oh, because you're stuck in traffic. Yeah, but what the f America? Why are you throwing that out of the window? You take that with you. You don't throw it out of the window or just leave it on the street. That's littering, and it makes everything look shitty. I'm, it's not a surprise, then, that Oregon made it illegal to dispose of human waste while driving or riding in a motor vehicle on the highway. But it's a bit weird that the law explicitly only states highways. Feel free to fling your poo through the city streets all you want. Pennsylvania. While Massachusetts made fortune telling mildly inconvenient for its residents, Pennsylvania went and made it straight up illegal. Good! You cannot charge somebody for your services in astrology, palm reading, tarot readings, fortune tellings, or forecasting magic spells. My favorite part of reading this statute is that necromancy is explicitly enumerated as being illegal in Pennsylvania. Is that talking to the dead or is that f***ing the dead? Necromancy. Necromania? Necro something. Necrophilia is the that so this must be talking. This is like talking to the dead or raising the dead or something with the dead necro, right? Necrophilia? Doesn't matter. Do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? Just asking. Rhode Island. We measure the power of car engines in horsepower, but how much horsepower does your horse have? I don't know, Kevin. One horsepower, maybe. If you want to find out, you had best steer clear of public highways. Testing the speed of a horse on the highway can land you up to 10 days in jail. Good horses should not be on highways. I once rode my bike on a motorway, what we call highways, by accident. <laughs> the drivers got very angry. <laughs> I just got off and pushing on the hard shoulder back up to get off there. And I'm like, sorry. I was in France. I didn't understand. And the was like, get off the, get off the highway, Englishman. Arrest me, what are you doing? <laughs> They didn't know I was British. I mean, maybe they did. South Carolina. I now regret doing all 50 states because I really want to go off about South Carolina, Code of Law section 1615.50. If a male over the age of 16 seduces an unmarried woman using the promise of marriage and then fails to marry her, he could face up to a year in jail. Unless she was already a slut when it happens. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that. It's a real law. Nope, nope, nope. Stop talking. Go to jail. Oh. oh, they use the phrase lead and unchasty. I know it's unchast, but it reads like unchasty. South Dakota. I couldn't find anything interesting about South Dakota that wasn't fake, but seriously, what the f South Dakota? You shouldn't lie about marriage to get a girl into bed, but to not only make that punishable by imprisonment, but to tie whether or not it's a crime to how many other people the girl has had sex with. What the hell's wrong with you? Wait, is that South Dakota? I thought that wasn't South. I'm confused. Tennessee. Netflix is trying to make this the norm, but in Tennessee, it is illegal to share login credentials to streaming services with anyone you don't share a house with. Tennessee, you're on it wow this is like the only example of uh, government being ahead of the tech companies when it comes to legislation it seems i mean or like regulation the law allegedly is to prevent hackers selling data and nothing to do with money from lobbyists <laughs> allegedly texas if you see a horse on the road in texas you're legally required to fire your gun in the air this is obviously not true and it's a good way to spook the horse and cause injury i included it because my little sister watches this show and it's something that her thankfully ex-boyfriend presented to my family as fact at dinner one night but it is very illegal to pee on the Alamo. Don't pee on the floor, use the Commodore. Utah. Red Solo Cups are a staple of American college. Oh, sorry. Hello, Kevin, sister. Red Solo Cups are a staple of American college life and can most frequently be seen at keg parties, but not in Utah. Keg parties aren't straight up illegal, but if you want to host a party full of underage drinking, then you need to petition the government for a temporary beer permit. And oh, yes, you can only serve light beer. Probably American light beer. Oh, Vermont. There's that whole thing going on with like Bud Light now, and how there's like a whole group of people who I don't know have weird opinions. Like I hate Bud Light now. I like I can't stand that and their opinions. And it's like I agree with you, but because Bud Light fucking sucks, not because of their like political opinions or anything like that. It's just a bit nasty, <laughs> just like regular Bud. But worse. So, Vermont. 
Thanks to the 1865 ruling of Gilman versus Andrus, a woman is required to get her husband's written permission if she wants a set of dentures. I could explain the somewhat reasonable logic behind this law, but I figured it'd be more fun to make you guess why this would be the case. So guess comments below. I don't even know. Virginia. How old is too old to go trick-or-treating? That answer is going to vary by person unless you live in Chesapeake City, Virginia, where nobody over the age of 14 is allowed to go trick-or-treating. Most people would have stopped by then anyway, so I'm not sure why this rule is necessary. Washington. Multiple countries in Washington, counties, sorry, it'd be weird if there was countries in Washington, have made it illegal to hunt and kill Bigfoot with Whatcom County. <laughs> it sounds like a failed uh, dot com boom company. Also declaring itself an official Sasquatch protection and refuge area, the logic was that if Bigfoot actually does exist, it's being grossly under underprotected. West Virginia. If you swear in public in West Virginia, you have to put the put a dollar into the state's treasury swear jar. Seriously, it's a real law. No. Wisconsin. In the city of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, it's illegal to build nuclear weapons. Surely that's like a federal law. <laughs> Coincidentally, that's also illegal in the top country. Unless you're the government. So I'm not sure what happened in Sun Prairie that compelled them to reiterate this point. Wyoming. For those of us who were a bit obsessive compulsive, this wouldn't be a concern. But you could be fined up to $750 for getting to close a fence or gate behind you. Well, that's where that um, TV show with, is it Harrison Ford is set? And there's lots of cows. So I get that. They don't want those cows escaping. The Blazement. Oh, are we done? Are we done? We're done. Not that I'm happy to say goodbye to you guys, but this was the last and fake one. There are no laws down here, just mushrooms and despair. And that's the end of the day. I have to say, I thought it would be a lot longer than this, but we made it. We made it. I'm going to go do some exercise or something else. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's illegal for an unmarried woman to skydive on a Sunday. It's weirdly specific. I guess you just have to be prepared to die.